Welcome Liberans. Um, this is the month of January 2021. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. All right, Liberans, it's all about education and empathy. Okay. Education, higher education and knowledge and empathy. Now, higher education in this deck is always about uh, the spirituality. It's about con connecting with the spirituality and having some sort of an empathy. Your energy is going to be green and it is about having empathy for other people and uh, whatever is happening and transpiring, however this is going to be affecting you in this month, is about going within and finding an iron knowledge and going within um, to deal with issues and situation. You Librans are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn woman. Now, whatever you have done to this woman and whatever is transpiring, I see truth is going to be coming out. Um, this uh, month of January, people are, um, you know, it's about changes. It's, it's, it's as if they're saying, um, Librans, you need to clean up your, uh, your hat, to, um, whatever is transpiring. Let's look at the energy of the month. Transition with your materialistic stability. A tower moment is coming down. And um, the energy of the star is as if a healing is going to be coming after that. So it's about cleaning up. I did say cleaning up. So this month for you, Librans, is about cleaning up. So I see an end could be coming in to your materialistic stability in a huge tower moment for you, Librans. And um, a healing is going to be coming um, to an end because you have done something to a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn woman. And uh, I see that this is affecting some of you Librans. Uh, um, maybe um, um, this was your boss or some sort of issue or problems. Your foundation, um, you have the Seven of Cups in reverse. Um, you have the, the Six of Cups in reverse. You have the Nine of Cups in reverse. And you have also the Eight of Cups in reverse. This is going to be a very, very emotional month for you Librans. Whatever is happening and transpiring Libran, this month is going to be a very emotional. All of your emotional energy is in the reverse, okay? Well, you're not dreaming anymore because you realize the truth about your friends. And um, the Nine of Cups, there is uh, no more... Uh, you you you're going to be losing in the third week your happiness and joy and um this energy of the star is in the fourth week where the eight of cups uh, you still decide to hold on on a situation that is no longer working out for you librans okay so water in the first week second week is earth third week is fire and the last week is air so the as you go to the second week the second week is where uh, the third week is where, um, you know, your happiness and joy. Um, second week is going to be good for you guys also. Um, the zodiac energy of air begins in the third week, fourth week, okay? So who are you going to be dealing with in this month? Um, uh, a scorpion, uh, a Pisces, uh, a scorpion and Pisces. A scorpion and Pisces uh, seems to be here for you guys. So some of you are going to be dealing with your mom or the friends of your mom or your in-laws. Uh, um, however, this is happening and transpiring. They're going to be finding out uh, some sort of a situation um, between you and a Taurus Virgo and a Capricorn. And some sort of a problem that you could have created or for this person is going to be coming out. So the first week we have the energy of a debt, okay? This is about transition. So a lot of you who were dreaming, the dreaming is now ended and you're um, facing reality. So a lot of you were dreaming and in that dreaming state, this is now ending and now you are going to be starting to face reality as it is. So, so you're going to be realizing, oh my God, um, yeah, wow, this is... Uh, um, really something, um, you know, this hits me. I didn't see this coming in. So whatever it is, and it was that was transpiring, I see you are going to be um, letting go of uh, something, okay? Letting go of the dreaming and really realizing that you need to stop dreaming and start uh, doing something in the first week. Um, 
remember if you want to know what exactly who you're going to be affected by and the energies so water transition emotion is a very emotional week the first week an extremely emotional week because something is going to come to an end and you're going to be realizing you have to wake up out of this dream state that you have been in the second week you are dealing with a mother figure um whoever this mother figure is and whatever is transpiring some sort of a transition is coming up for your mom in the second week for the people who have a mom if you don't have a mom um some sort of a transition with your friends so i see that some of you could have been friends with a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person whoever this person is and something is going to be coming out about this friendship um and you're going to be realizing something okay so some sort of unexpected situation is coming out about your mom and your friends in the second week then we are looking at the third week which is a fire energy the tower um some of you were blocked from manifesting your um wealth luck and business and i see this is going to be lifted up so a lot of you were blocked you were not aware um, where to go, what to go, what to do. A lot of you, some sort of ending could be coming in um, for a lot of you in the third week that is going to be putting you like two steps backwards. So you got to be aware of uh, what is coming up and what is transpiring. Some sort of a transition is going to be coming up for you guys in the third week. And it has, it is going to be affecting your dreams and wishes and dreams. So you have to be aware. A tower moment could be coming down um, for someone who you, um, you know, you really care about and who you love. Um, it could be a mother or a friend or um, some sort of a, in balance situation some sort of a blockage is going to be lifted as we look at the fourth and last week we are seeing um the energy of the star now this is your sister sign and uh, the aquarians are going to be coming in in the fourth week in order to help uh, um you guys out in the fourth week okay so in the fourth week some sort of a healing um a, a situation is not over but yet still you're hoping for um, some sort of a new start moving forward okay so it's as if a lot of you liberals is thinking about the past and not looking at the future a lot of you uh, liberals realize that um you know that dream state uh, some of you uh, liberals was um open to you know stay friends uh, um or holding on to a group of friends uh, and uh, you know some sort of a unexpected uh, situation could happen in the third week uh, where you realize that um, you're holding on and you need to let go of something whatever is happening and transpiring you definitely definitely need to let go of something so um a lot of you are going to be dealing with the scorpions uh yeah the scorpions in the first week and uh, um a lot of issues a lot of situation they could be ending relationships with you liberals or some sort of a problem with the scorpions in the first week second week again it is a situation where um a lot of you were dreaming to maybe go and visit your mom uh, maybe your mom isn't sick uh, is sick and uh, is dreaming to visit your mom and there you're going to be receiving some good news in the fourth week saying that your mom is okay um transition with friendship a tower moment is going to be coming in in the third week so a lot of you a huge um unexpected moment is going to be coming in um with friends where the end of friendship in the third week um and i see that you are still holding on whatever this tower moment is that has transpired between you and your friends you're still holding on and hoping for the best so some sort of unexpected situation came in in the third week and you are still holding on holding on to this friendship or this relationship because uh, um you know it's as if you can't let go of this uh, person and this situation but expect uh, that in the third week some sort of a friendship unexpected tower moment is coming down on a friendship um a lot of you are going to be have to let go and it's as if you're still holding on holding on on this friendship on this relationship on this situation um it could be a job it could be you are realizing in the third week that 
you know, I could be losing my job, but you're still holding on and trying to hold fast on the situation in order um, to create some sort of a um, balance for the situation. And people are realizing how um, you need to let go. And I think some of you are going to be coming to the realization that you need to let go. So go check out uh, the full moon reading because the full moon of December is affecting January. Okay. So if you notice the December full moon is on the 29th of December and it is affecting the energy of January. So go look at your full moon. Go look at the first week, whether you're a sun sign or a moon sign. Go look at the full moon readings because that is going to be aligning you and guiding you as what is going to be coming out in all of these four weeks for you guys because there is definitely some sort of a transition that is going to be coming up and affecting you guys, okay? So, it is our um, um, situation that is transpiring. Um, is really um, out of your control, um, Librans. And this this emotion, because when we see, it's as if you you have to wake up out of a dream. It's as if you were in a dream state with friends. And whatever it is, it's as if um, a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person, maybe it's your mom or maybe it's a friend, could be you know turning their backs on you i don't know why the reason why but some sort of um information um some of you it could be your mother-in-law that no longer wants to be connected to you and um is you know letting and cutting loose of uh, you and uh, her child uh, it's as if this person realized that you have had so much control on this person um, she is letting go, but I see the child is cutting themselves loose because this child realized uh, that the mother, the love between the mother and the child, and I see um, whoever is with a scorpion person, they're going to choose their mother over you because they realize the injustice that some of you have done to their mother and they're going to be cutting you loose. Um, then I see um, some of you were dreaming to have some sort of a relationship with your mother-in-law. Uh, it's not going to happen. Um, this person, no, it's not going to happen. So let it go. Um, this person is someone who they know when something, someone is not right for them. And this person already realized that. Okay, so... Um, Whoever is in a relationship or whoever is in love with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, and you had a lot of dreams and hope for you and this person, they're going to be cutting you loose. Whatever the reason um, why they're going to be cutting you loose, it's, it could be that they, they, they are clearing up their karmas with some of you and releasing you, cutting you loose from um, so that you can fly on your own, okay? So, however, this is transpiring. Um, and this tower moment that is coming down, a lot of you, because this is Venus, uh, um, it, it could be love relationship. I end that is coming up to love relationships for a lot of you. Um, because we have the Empress uh, is the energy of love. It is the mother of love. And um, but it is also the mother of materialistic stability. So some of you, it could be relationships is coming to an end. Some of you, your materialistic stability is coming to an end or changes is coming in. This is a, more of a, a, some sort of a blockage that was there um, between you and someone is going to be lifted. And I see some sort of a healing. A lot of you are hoping for some sort of a healing between you and your mom or you and... Uh, um, I, I, someone who you're in love with, like there was some sort of a block between you and this person. And now you are lifting this block and this is going to be good. So what I see with the sensual energy is that uh, relationships could be ending. Um, friendships is going to be ending. Um, a lot of you who felt connected um, to someone or have 
you know, real deep feelings for someone. This could be ending because uh, this person is going to be taking a new direction and moving forward. Um, and might not, you might not be on a, a, their part and their journey moving forward. So that could be a situation. Transition with friendship is definitely going to be coming in. But I see a lot of you liberals are going to be really wanting to hold on on this person, this situation, this relationship. But it is time, you know, give yourself time to heal. Um, because whatever is transpiring, give yourself time to heal. Okay. Um, a lot of you had hoped for um, to connect and create some sort of a business with a friend. It can happen. Uh, I see you're really open and um, looking towards the star. Uh, it, it, I see some of you um, wants to connect with uh, someone in order to collaborate and, um, you know, study the stars, study astrologue or that sort of a thing. That is going to be good. Um, it is going to be a positive way for you to move forward because I see study, I acknowledge and study. So a lot of you Aquarians, uh, um, your spirit guides is going to be leading you to start um, studying astrologue. And that is going to be good because I see a lot of you are interested in astrologue. And um, I always the knowledge is uh, about the astro plane. And I see a lot of you are going to be um, taking like an extra study in order to get deeper and more involved in what is happening in the world on a whole in order for you to make uh, um, changes moving forward um, and create better stability for you in your life. So, um, you know, this is good because sometimes you're um, led down a part. Sometimes relationship ended, friendships ended. And you have time on your hands. And I see a lot of you, this is what is going to be transpiring. And uh, you are going to be focusing and looking at uh, um, these opportunities, these possibilities, these uh, um, new existence uh, from things that, that can be created. And you're going to be balancing this out and realizing, hey, I'm going to start investing in myself, you know. Um, and because this is what is going to be helping me moving forward. So a lot of you are going to be moving and it's going to be and thinking deeper in the, the, the astrologue sense of things. You're going to be wanting to get deeper in what is going on in the universe and how is it affecting you as a person on this planet. So this is going to be absolutely wonderful. I really love this energy. This energy is about pulling out, bringing out uh, powers, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, and um, being so accurate about uh, um, what is happening and transpiring and really getting this, pushing this further, aligning yourself in a very wonderful way. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So... Wonderful alignment of energy. I want to say um, to a lot of you, go and, um, you know, go choose for higher wisdom and knowledge because it is going to be helping you. It is going to be bringing you to where you need to be. It is going to be opening up doors of opportunities for you. It is going to be showing you a sense of understanding. Um, and it is going to be also opening up the path of empathy for you so this is like spiritual um this is definitely uh, like a spiritual assessment of things people and things around you that is going to be creating a lot of uh, wealth and stability and moving you forward in a positive uh, way so this is going to be good so you know get ready ladies and gentlemen because life is uh, about pushing you forward and being understanding of Things that is transpiring in your world and making you make different uh, changes in, in this new year and realizing that things that you have done in the past um, is has affected you so much in the future that you're going to be realizing that uh, um, decision that I've made, I need to 
create better decision in this year in order to um, help my exhilaration, my frequency to frequent on a higher energy. So I see it is going to be, um, you know, a wake up call in this month. And this wake up call is going to be helping you because it's going to be pushing you in the right direction moving forward and is going to be showing you um, the new part, the new direction to take on in your life. Uh, and this is going to be absolutely fabulous. Uh, whatever the um, problems was, it's going to be resolved. Um, I'm leaving you, but I will see you on the other side. If not, have a wonderful month.